three seconds and the total distance covered. Well, what we know is that acceleration is given by final velocity minus initial velocity with vi by the change in time, right? This is the change in time. Now, from here, acceleration, what's our final velocity during the first three seconds? Our final velocity is that one there. So we put 15 here minus, initial velocity is here, 0. We divide 3. And acceleration will give us 3 into 15. What we get? We get 5 meters per second squared. Isn't it? Now that we know the acceleration, can we fail to find the total distance covered? Of course we can't. But B, distance covered is equal to the just the area under the what? The graph. Now the area under, under the graph gives us the what? The total distance covered. Now what is the area of the, of the, what, 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 what's the area under the graph? This is a trapezium and the area is given by half. A plus B multiplied by what? H. Where H is the distance from there to there. That is H. And A is the distance from there to there. And B is the distance from there all the way to there. So from this formula, A is 3 minus 6. So this minus this giving us 3 plus b is 10 minus 0 which is just 10 height is 15 minus 0 which is just 15 3 plus 10 we get 13 everything here over what over 2 but multiply by what 15 so the distance is just equal to check we can just multiply that so 13 times 15 we divide by 2 it's giving me 97 0.5 of course this answer should be in meters in this case because we've got meters there so i was supposed to answer this question